Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a small and short tutorial video on the basics of using Fathom. Basically, what Fathom is, is it is a statistical analysis uh, program, much like Excel, but it is a lot more user-friendly. Uh, you do not need uh, to have a great knowledge of the actual uh, formulas and such things as you do with Excel. Um, one nice thing that Fathom does is say you want to pull some statistics from any website. Um, when you copy and paste those into let's say Excel, what it does is it puts it all in one cell for you and you have to reorganize. So I will demonstrate what Fathom does and why it is so nice. So if I go to Google, well, let's say we'll go to ESN. Alright, so we're going to go to some NHL hockey here. Uh, we'll take pick statistics. I'm just going to take these complete leaders here. Now, if I wanted to put all of these statistics into Excel, I would have to copy one by one and put them into their designated cells. The nice thing about Fathom is I can pull right from here down. Right click, hit copy. Then when I go into Fathom, all I have to do is pull down a collection, which is how all your data is organized in Fathom. So if I pull down a collection, I'm going to right click and hit paste cases. And as you can see, the box filled up with these little yellow circles. Now, when I double click on the collection, basically it just shows you all the attributes and shows you the value of the first player that I copied. Okay? And as you go through the headings, nothing else is really there. But now what this allows me to do is if I want to see them in table form, I highlight collection and just simply click on the table button here at the top and drag it down. Now as you see, the table has been completely copied in the exact same format that it was from the website. So, it has organized it in a way that it is really accessible for you, easy to read, in the exact same way it was on the website. So you do not have to do all the finagling around with certain cells and organizing all of your data. So that is the one really nice thing about Fathom. Now I will show you how to do to collect uh, certain statistics as well as just the basic graphs that we use. So again, by high, if I pull down a graph, as you can see, it's blank. No data. But what it does say is drop an attribute here. So right now, we're just going to concentrate on um, one singular part of data. So let's take down the points. So if I want to know the points, there it is organized how many players are in each section for points for me in a dot plot. Now that can be simply, very simply changed to any other any other type of plot. So let's say I want to change it to a line plot. What would probably best be represented in this data would probably be a histogram. So there, we have a nice a nice uh, bar graph on the frequency, so how many people are at that certain amount of point, and what points they're at. You can also choose things such as a box plot. So that gives you an idea of your spread of data. This is a visual representation of your spread of data. And basically what a box plot says is that 50% of your data lies within that box that you see there. And the lines and the dots are your outliers, so to speak. Um, you can also use a percentile plot. And there's many different plots that you can choose. So very simply, you just click one piece of data and pull it down. Now, the nice thing that you want to do is say you're in a dot plot and you want to um, 
find out what's how the amount of points correlates with the amount of games played or let's say um, time on the ice. So we're going to click that attribute and you simply just drag it to the y-axis. What this has done is it has now organized your players time on the ice with the amount of points they have. So really, you try to find out if there's correlation between time on ice and points. Simple enough. Now, to actual test for correlation, or to make sure there is correlation, you use, normally you use a line of best fit in this type of data. Now, normally students, when they're doing this by hand, would have to uh, put a ruler on the page, try to figure out where they have fit half the points below, half the points above the line. But with Fathom, it is very simply right-click on the graph, go down to Sorry, I can't seem to find it right now. So let's choose a different attribute. Let's say we want to do games played. Let's throw that in there. There we go. So what you're looking for is your least squares line. As soon as you click on that, it has automatically put in a line of best fit for you. As you can see at the bottom, what it also gives you is a correlation value as well as the equation of the line of best fit. So students can now see that the games played is this value times the points plus 10.2. That is their equation for the line of best fit. Now that you've figured out how to do graphing with one attribute as well as two different attributes, let's do find out how to do some summaries. So what summary does is it allows you to um, determine many different types or many different um, modes of frequency of figuring out or interpreting data. So again, it's just simply, I'm going to click points, drag and drop it into this attribute. By dropping it in there, it automatically sets the first summary that you do to the mean. So the mean points in the season is 14.1. But you can also figure out many things. Just by right clicking and going add, four, add five number summary, you can see below that gives you the mean, the minimum, Q1, Q3, which are your in interquartile range, that's stats, we won't go into that, but it gives it to you, as well as the max amount of points. So basically from here you can completely figure out what the mean is, where the middle value lies, um, where 50% of your data lie in between, and the complete spread of your data. Now you can also do many other other um, statistics as well. By going in Add Formula and under attri Attribute, or sorry, under Functions, scroll down to Statistical, One Attribute, and as you can see there are many things here. Count, First, IQR as I talked about, Last, Max, Mean, Median, Percenta. Let's say we want to figure out uh, the standard deviation of this. We're going to click on standard deviation. Now normally it does put it up there, but if that doesn't work, sometimes it's a little glitchy. You just type in, as you see, standard dev, and as soon as you open that bracket, you can see it goes blue. Exactly like all your other five number summaries in your summary table. Now, all we simply do is type in the attribute that we are analyzing. So for us, it's points. So we type in PPS. As you see, it goes purple. That means that we are going to analyze. By clicking OK, it's simply just added 
that number into your summary table. So, S7, standard deviation of points, is 2.63. So, as you can see, it's very simple to do analysis and things like that with your certain statistics. Another nice thing when looking at the graph is if you have your table open, and let's say you want to know exactly where this uh, point very close to the line of best fit, who it, who it is in your table. By clicking on it, it automatically highlights. So you can see all the other statistics that line up with that point on your graph. It's a nice feature as well. The only thing I really don't like about Fathom is this right here. By clicking, I can move this point wherever I want. And as you can see, it's changing all the values in the table. It's changing the line of best fit. And something else that you can't see, but it is also changing the values in your summary table. So that's the one thing. I, I would love to see that the points would lock in place and you couldn't move them. That's the only thing I find. It's a little bit glitchy about this program. Um, other than that, I find Fathom very user-friendly, especially for younger students who are learning statistics. But uh, as long as you know how to use the program, it is really, really easy to use. Um, there are other buttons here at the top, but mainly they will get into when you get into um, higher level statistics. So hypothesis testing, regression analysis and modeling, things like that. We will not go over that today. Those were basically the basics of using Fathom. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.